Hello and welcome to the channel everyone. Hope you all are doing absolutely fine. So first of all, I would like to congratulate every students, those who had appeared for their board examination and they did very well. So today I'm going to start with a very important topic. And this was requested by many of the students, those who follow me on my Instagram page. And here is it. So it's a very small topic, but it's interesting and a very important as well. So the name of the topic is sister chromatids. So this particular topic I'm going to discuss over here. So let's get started. So we will try to understand this sister chromatid thing with the relation to cell cycle, right? With the relation to cell cycle. So in cell cycle, you are aware about S phase, right? S phase where what happens the DNA replications takes place right DNA replications takes place now the DNA replication is the product for cell duplication of genome right it's a product for cell duplication of genome that means in DNA replication what is happening the number of chromosomes which are present in a parent cells are getting duplicated right now what else to talk about is suppose this is a chromosome right and this is another chromosome so let's suppose this is a nucleus which is present within the cell right so this is one chromosome and this is another and together they are making 46 right so, and this we are taking as a diploid cell let's suppose it is a diploid cell or we can also call it parent cell now what will happen when DNA replication will take place this particular this particular white chromosome will duplicate itself right will duplicate itself now when it is duplicating itself it is tied with a particular knot which is common for the pre-existing parent chromosome also right and this is known as kinetochore it's a complex of protein actually right now till the time it is attached with this particular kinetochore the two are considered as sister chromatids two are considered as sister chromatid now sister chromatid means the two are identical okay same number of chromosomes same number of gene segments are present in both the chromosomes and together they are known as sister chromatid so this is for particular this chromosome right so we can mark it n and n right for each one and this is an example for this particular one and similar case will be for this one also the other chromosome which is in red color so similar thing will happen here also now how you can remember this right how you can remember this particular thing that sister chromatids sister chromatids are the product of dna replication right they are the product of dna replication so there are two sister chromatids per replication so this is a simplest way to remember sister chromatids right so i hope i made myself clear about sister chromatids what are these sister chromatids so these are the product of dna replication now when it will undergo for m phase either it will be a mitosis or meiosis then they will get separate accordingly so in case of mitosis you know that it is an equational division so the number of chromosomes will remain same 
and diploid cells of parents and it diploid cells of daughter cells but in case of uh, meiosis what will happen the reductional division will happen and there will be haploid cells formation will take place so this is about sister chromatics i hope you enjoyed the videos thank you for watching